what kind of calories we need to be eating for the day. So one of my favorite ways to talk about the perfect calorie number is to talk about this thing called the Goldilocks zone. This is a term that I've used when talking about this calorie range for a really long time. So what I consider the Goldilocks zone is this perfect range of calories that's low enough that you are losing fat, but is also not so low that you start causing metabolic stress and like reduction of the things inside of you that you need to lose fat properly. And for me, I believe this range to be between 1,800 and 2,200 calories for most people. Uh, even for women, we found here at Hercules that taking a woman below even 1,700 calories, we start seeing a lot of side effects and it's truly not necessary for fat loss as long as you know what you're doing. But what the best way to set this up to make sure that you get the perfect calorie number is pick a calorie per day that's in the range of the Goldilocks zone, somewhere probably around 2,000 calories, and eat that every single day. Some important extra factors are to make sure that your steps are the same every day, try and hit 10,000 steps, is that all the factors in your life are similar so that we can actually make sure this is accurate, but what we wanna do is hit those 2,000 calories every single day and then do weekly weigh-ins to check. So if you eat 2,000 calories on week one and you weigh yourself the next week and you lose weight, Perfect, we might already have the perfect calorie number. If you weigh yourself and you didn't lose weight, then simply lower to a lower range of the Goldilocks zone. And if you think you lost weight a little too fast or you find you're way too hungry that week, then increase a little bit and see if you can still lose weight even with a little bit more calories. But if you set this up and you track your weigh-ins every single week, you should be able to find the perfect calorie number. And just remember that calories in, calories out does matter. So if you're finding that you're getting to the bottom of the Goldilocks range and you're not losing weight, then it's very possible and more than likely that it's not a calorie issue, it's a movement issue. So if you're hitting the bottom of the Goldilocks zone, make sure you're upping your steps, that you're doing a little bit more working out, or you're just adding more things to your day that are gonna burn more calories. That's where you're going to see the most success.